Now that we introduced the topic of commutative matrices, we're interested in knowing what is their application. If you have two commutative matrices like A and B, the binomial theorem says, hey, you can add these two matrices together and raise it to power n. This is basically following the summation of n choose k, which is n factorial, divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial, a to power n minus k times b to power k. For example, if you have two commutative two by two matrices, then the binomial theorem says a plus b to the second power is equal to the summation of two factorial divided by k factorial, two minus k factorial, a to power two minus k, b to power k, and k ranges between zero to two, because these two are two by two matrices. In simpler form, this is going to be two factorial divided by, we're gonna plug in zero first, zero factorial, two minus zero factorial, a squared, b to power zero, so remember we defined the power of the matrix, plus two factorial over one factorial, two minus one factorial, a to the first power, b, b to the first power, which is basically the same as a and b, plus two factorial over two factorial, two minus two factorial, a to the zero, and b to the second. Basically, you end up with a multiplied by itself plus two ab plus b multiplied by itself. And remember that when we are talking about a matrix raised to zero, it is basically the identity matrix. Couple of useful formula for you. So n choose k, as you remember from the binomial theorem that we did. In some of you saw this binomial theorem in pre-calculus, some of you saw this in calculus, and some others in discrete math. And also again, remember that any matrix raised to power zero is the same as identity matrix.